Let me read to you from the Bible. This comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not repent. My name is Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. I serve in the wonderful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the traditional and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Today, I want to talk to you about change. Because there's a lot of change happening in the world. There is a ton of change happening in the world. And change is, for the bravest person, change is always a time of trepidation. It's a time of, of fear. It's a time of, of, uh, of searching. It's not an easy time. It's often filled with grief. It's often filled with loathing. Not many of us love change. We can say we love change, but not many of us are okay with all kinds of change, no matter what, no matter where it happens. There's a lot of change in our world right now. In my parish, we've gone from having our Sunday morning services and our Bible study, you know, our in-person Bible studies um, with, the occasional, with the occasional community meal, uh, we've gone completely away from that. We are now doing parking lot services in the back of the church using an FM transmitter, which by the way is awesome. And we are doing online daily reflections. And we are doing online family worship using morning prayer. Um, what was right now is no longer what is. Things have changed. And things may not go back to what it was. We, we may not get back in, in, in the near future to our Sunday morning services. We may not get back to having communion together. We may, we may find that these daily reflections are reaching out to more people as an evangelical and as a missional tool than anything we were doing in the past. We want to, maybe we want to maintain this. We may find that our Sunday morning worship services are something that we want to continue. And again, because it's change, because it's, it's something that has, has shifted, there will be fear that somebody will be left out. But change, change isn't always a zero-sum game. Just because something changes and that somebody else may, some, that we might be inviting other people in doesn't mean that you're going to miss out. We see the same thing, I think, with, I think I'm seeing the same thing in, in, in situations where, where we talk about equality and justice. There's this incredible fear, and, and I can't think of another reason why it would be there, but there seems like this, there's this incredible fear that, that, if we follow a course of action where we change to, to make our society more just or to make our, our culturally more racially aware and sensitive, then one group is going to lose out because another group gains. It's not how that works. Justice and equality are very much the same as, as that old proverb that when the tide comes in, all the boats rise. It's good for all of us. You know, that the changes, that if, we make, if we make changes to the way we, we finance things like our military or our police service, that one group is going to benefit over another or, or these extremes are going to happen, and that's not the case either. Again, when the tide rises, all the boats rise. This parable that I shared with you 
about the lost sheep. The other 99 sheep shouldn't be afraid that when the one comes back, they're going to miss out. The shepherd's going to take care of them. He's going to take care of them all. The shepherd didn't take them someplace where there's only food for 99, and when he brings another one in, somebody's going to starve. The shepherd takes care of them and makes sure that every single one of them will be provided for, that all of their needs will be met. Listen, we are in a time of change. And change in our world today is, is so quick. It is so quick. It is exponentially faster than what it used to be. And so the change, because it's so quick, because it's so fast, it, it might even, and, and hopefully because it's so drastic, the fear may be even more prevalent. It might be something that, that impacts us, that hits us harder than we could have imagined. But change is not a zero-sum game. Because other people prosper doesn't mean we won't. Because somebody else gets something doesn't mean they have to take it from me. It doesn't mean it will be taken from you. We've got to get beyond this. Because so long as we see change as, as something that is, it, as, so long as we see change as a zero-sum game, i.e., if you get something, I have to lose something, then it's actually in our best interest not to allow change to happen. And if that's the case, then, it's, then we can verbalize it. Because... We can literally verbalize, I don't want change to happen because I'm going to lose out. Therefore, you must remain oppressed. I don't want change to happen because I'm going to lose out. Therefore, you must maintain the order and the status of things. That's not how God works. That's not how God works, not even close. God wants all of his people to have every right, to have every privilege, to, have, to, to live in equality, to live in freedom, to live within the, same, within the same means of justice. That's what God wants. He wants all of us to have mercy on each other. He wants all of us to love what it means to be just and right Change for God does not mean that when one person gains, another person loses. That's human change. It's not God's change. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May you know the peace of being in God's presence. And may you be so filled, so filled with the love of God that no matter what this world throws at us next, all fear of missing out is taken away. Amen. Hey again, folks. We all know that lots of stuff's going on in the world. Lots of big things are going on in the world. So today... I want to encourage you, watch out for your brother and sister. Take care of them. Be there for your neighbor. Be there for your family. Be there for the stranger. Love. Love everyone. Throw hate away. Throw fear away. Throw jealousy away. Be one together. Amen.